Fabulous. Hey. Let's come into our comfortable seat to start with a short meditation. Just to check in with yourself. And in our chakra series online, we have today arrived at the third chakra. We often refer to the third eye. It is, it is has everything to do with intuition and I see. And when you think about I see, well, what does it mean to you, I see? It's the visual, the beautiful magic that is in front of us every day. We can acknowledge and, and consciously see the beauty or we can also decide not to see it. And then I also, in some way, it feels to me like I see clearly. I see things clearly in front of me. Based on that, I can take clear decisions. So this chakra just allows you, again, to self-analyze without judging, without attaching. So let's sit still for another two minutes and let those words linger and maybe just for yourself decide what this chakra means to you. Intuition, I see the color purple. Your eyes. And slow, deep breath in and out. Let's place the hands together in front of the heart. If you'd like to set an intention for this practice and this day, something that you just want to pay attention to on your mat, maybe the simple, simple fact of how you use your eyes, just giving yourself an intention. It can also be a deeper, maybe emotional, or even mental intention, something that you might want to cultivate for yourself on the mat and take into the rest of your day. A sense of gratitude, for example, contentment, patience, a dedication to someone else is also a beautiful gesture. And then bow your head towards your fingertips to seal that in. And then we'll do a pranayama exercise, which is called alternative nostril breath. So you take your right hand and you can bring your, either you can bring your index finger and your middle finger to the third eye. And then the, the thumb is on the right nostril and the ring finger and pinky finger on the left nostril. Some people prefer to bring the fingers on the inside of the palm and then do the same thing. I kind of like the third eye option specifically today because it is all about the third eye today. 
And then breathe into both nostrils. Breathe out both nostrils. Close the right nostril with your thumb and breathe into the left nostril. Up to the third eye, close the left nostril, open the right nostril and breathe out of the right nostril. Back into the right nostril, up to the third eye. Close the right nostril with the thumb, open the left, exhale out of the left nostril. Breathe back into the left. Breathe back out the right. Keep going for another minute. I'll be your timekeeper. Balancing the female and the male, the right and the left parts of your brain, the logical side, the creative side. Finish by exhaling out of your right nostril. Take your time. Take a couple of breaths through both nostrils. Maybe notice which nostril is a little bit more open than the other. It changes constantly during the day. And let's move to the tabletop with your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Now, if we also speak about the eyes, so notice what you do with your eyes. Feel free to close your eyes at any stage. And we call it a drishti when we really use our eyes to focus on a specific point, which is mostly helpful in balance poses, but also just helps you to not get distracted. Bring your eyes up to the sky and your tailbone up to the sky. Inhale, cup. Look towards your belly button. How far can you look in chest to chin, chin to chest? Inhale, look back up. You can even bring your eyes up to the third eye. Exhale, round the spine to you to just two more times. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, tap, 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 tap. Elbows follow the belly, navel in and up. Last one, breathe in. Exhale, round it up. Inhale, tabletop, exhale, lift your left arm up to the sky, come into a supported plank pose. If it feels nice, reach the left arm over your ear head, next to your left ear, really reach to the left hand, ground to the outside of your left foot, feel the side body stretch. Take one more deep breath in, hand down, knee down, other side. Supported plank pose, right arm up to the sky. Exhale, maybe bring the right arm all the way next to your ear. Now activate through the fingers. Reach, reach and feel that translate in more space on the right side of the body. Take one more deep breath in. Hands down to the floor, anatasana. Knees under your hips, hands move forward. Melt your chest down to the floor. Let the third eye be on the floor. 
If your nose is a bit squeezed, just uh, change the angle of your head. Take three rounds of breath here. Your intuition, trusting yourself that when your gut is kind of like, hey, something is off here, something is not matching up, trust that intuition. We have too often learned or kind of been conditioned in a way to suppress that intuition. When you feel unsafe, just, you know, follow that intuition. When you're in a space and you're like, hmm, something is off, trust that intuition. Come to an elbow plank, knees to the floor, or maybe you want to tuck your toes and lift the knees off the floor. Close your eyes, notice the strength of the arms, the core engaged, your legs engaged. Take one more deep breath in, Swing toes, hips down to the floor, point your toes, open the collarbones. Feel free at any stage to close your eyes and notice what it does. So for me, closing the eyes is a conscious decision to, hey, I am not paying so much attention to the outer world. I want to pay attention to whatever is going on inside me. How much time and effort do we spend outwards looking outwards and looking inwards which is all equally important take another deep breath in nose to the floor exhale hands next to repeat inhale tabletop toes together child's pose all the way to the back of your mat thread the needle here bring the right arm under let's today or very often we turn our head to the side let's today keep our face down so the third eye is on the floor. Left arm reaches to the top of the mat. Take three more rounds of breath here. Notice the space on the outside of the right shoulder. Inhale, release, child's pose. Exhale, over to the other side. You may turn your face just for a sec. And then you see how it feels to have your nose pointing out. Third eye on the floor. Reach the right fingers forward and come back to your breath. Inhale, child's pose. Exhale, rest the head back to the floor. Inhale, tabletop. Tuck your toes, plank pose. Hands to the top of the mat, feet to the back of the mat. Lift your right toes behind you. So the right toes are hovering just above the floor. Yes, yes, yes. Core engaged, take a deep breath in. Knee to your nose, exhale. Step back, inhale. Left knee to your nose, exhale. Hover the left toes behind you for a second. Another left knee to your nose, exhale. Three so legged down, left leg up towards the sky. Runners lunge, step the left foot to the outside of your left hand. Let's bring the knee down today and go for a bit of a rooted lunge. So your chin comes in towards your chest, a wide rooted lunge. Actively round the spine, so it's very similar to a cat stretch. Round, 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 round. Take one more deep breath in. Wide pyramid pose. Extend your left leg. You can walk your hands under the shoulders. Left toes are nice and active. Now focus your eyes on a twisty or maybe even close your eyes. Three more rounds of breath here. Inhale, tuck your back toes, lift the knee, a runner's lunge. Exhale, the last squat. Feet to the top of the mat, the elbows can be on the inside. If you feel it's challenging to put the heels down, just bring your feet a little wider and or bring the elbows off the thighs rather than on the inside. Breathe in, lengthen. So rather than hanging in your, in your hand in your uh, malasana, lift up. As if you want to stand up, and then you stay here. Take one more deep breath in. Fold forward, bring your toes to touch, relax your neck and shoulders. Utkatasana, inhale. Hands to heart center, exhale. Heart lifts towards the thumbs, breathe in. 
Twist over to your right side. So the elbow hooks to the outside of the thigh. Bum a little bit lower, heart a little bit higher. Feel the resistance between the hands. With your eyes, you can quickly check if your toes are still together, next to each other, ankles and knees. Yeah, lovely. Inhale, back to center. Hands to heart center, exhale. Inhale, lift the heart towards the thumbs. Exhale, twist over to the other side. What are you doing with your eyes? Where are they looking? What are they seeing? Or maybe close your eyes. Inhale, Utkatasana, arms above your head. Exhale, fold forward, relax your neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway hips lengthen. Left foot steps to the back of the mat, let the knee drop down. Inhale, Anjanayasana, arms up towards the sky. Lovely. Left arm under the right for eagle arms. Now, if you have uh, your hands interlaced, maybe your hands are on your shoulders, you can bring your right thumb to your third eye. So let it touch there in between your eyebrows. And then lift your gaze and look up. Create a nice back bend. Hold, soften your shoulders. Maybe close your eyes. Feel the connection with the thumb to the third eye. Take one more deep breath in. Low lunge, hands down to the floor. Tuck your back toes, lift the knee. Inhale, black pose, step back. All the way to the tummy. You can use your knees on the way down. First your face, then your chest, then the tummy. Nice controlled landing. Point your toes, inhale. Cobra pose, lift your chest. Exhale, reach your hands towards your feet and interlace them behind your bum. Yes, reach the knuckles away. You can look down so the neck is in line with the spine. Take one more deep breath in. Nose to the floor, relax, hands next to your rib cage. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose, melt all the way to the back of your mat. Two rounds of breath here. Inhale, tabletop, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog, maybe measure through plank pose and then lift your tailbone up towards the sky. Hold your downward facing dog, maybe pedal out the legs or find some stillness here. A conscious decision to maybe close your eyes or look at something specific. Your hands, your feet, probably your feet is nicest so the neck can relax. Inhale, leg pose. Exhale, point your left toes behind you to hover. Notice how strong you are. Take a deep breath in. Knee to your nose. Exhale. Inhale, step back. Right knee to your nose. Exhale. Reach the right toes behind you, breathe in. Another knee to nose with the right leg, exhale. Inhale, three leg dog. Right leg lifts, look forward, exhale, runner's lunge. Step the foot to the outside of your hand. Let's drop the knee down again, runner and um, rooted lunge. So you round, round, round and tuck. Personally, I feel that differently in the front of the left thigh. Chin to chest, where are your eyes? Where is your gaze? Take one more deep breath in here. Wide half splits. Feel free to walk your hands a little closer, closer lengthen the spine, active right toes. Yes. Vinyasa also gets translated with place with precision. And to place with precision, we need to pay attention to what we're doing. And our eyes can really help with that. Inhale, tuck the toes, lift the knee, walk forward, runner's lunge. Exhale, Malasana squat, feet to the top of your mat. Remember, rather than kind of being passive here, make it active. Pretend you're going to stand up, but you're actually just engaging the muscles to lift up. Take another deep breath in. Fall forward and toe heel your feet to touch. Inhale, halfway, lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. 
Rise, high mountain, arms come all the way above your head. Samastitihi, hands to heart center. Pause for a moment and just feel. Are you okay, Yolande? Okay, cool. Inhale, high mountain, I put maybe something went wrong. Exhale, fold forward, soften the neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway, lift hands up. Right foot steps, no lunge, knee down. Inhale, Anjuna Yasana. Ego, your right arm under the left. Hands to shoulders or interlace. If they're interlaced, spread the left hand and let the left thumb touch your third eye. Breathe in, start to lift your gaze, come into your beautiful back bend. See where you can go into a space where you can still breathe and still smile. Take another deep breath in. Low lunge, hands down, top toes, lift the knee. Inhale, plank pose. Here we go, yogi, push up the right back on your toes or your knees, 90 degrees. Inhale, upward facing dog. The thighs can be on the floor, point your toes. We lift the hips first and then tip the feet to a downward facing dog. Take a breath into the nose. Sigh out. Right leg lifts, three leg the dog, inhale. Knee to your nose, exhale. Inhale, three leg the dog, lengthen. Runners lunge, right foot to the outside. Rooted, wide rooted lunge, chin to chest. Take a deep breath in here. Stay for your exhale. Another inhale. Wide half splits. Exhale, draw the hips back. Runners lunge, inhale, come forward. Malasana squat, exhale, feet down, hands to the uh, elbows on the inside of the knees. Let's stand all the way up, take a deep breath in. Toe, heel, your feet to touch. Breathe out, hands to heart center, samasthiti heat. Inhale, arms up to the sky, lovely. Exhale, fold forward, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Left foot steps, low lunge, knee down. Anjana Yasna, arms up to the sky. Eagle with your left arm under the right, thumb to third eye. Take a deep breath in, look up, over and back bend. Exhale, low lunge, tuck your toes, lift the knee. Flatten palms, inhale, plank pose, nice and graceful steps. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lovely, beautiful smile. Exhale, downward facing dog. Fabulous. Take a breath into the nose. And sigh it out. <sighs> Left leg up to the sky. Inhale, three legged dog. Run it down, shift the foot to the outside of the head. Knee down, take a breath in here. Sink a little deeper in the hips. Exhale, now round for a rooted learner's lunge. A breath in to stay. A breath out to stay. The last inhale here. One half split, bring your hips back. Back forward, tuck your toes, lift the knee, runner's lunge. Manasana squat, exhale, feet to the top of the mat. Let's try a crow pose here. Crow pose can be with the elbows on the inside, or if you prefer crane, the knees will come to the armpits. So work with patience and control, being courageous, maybe a little bit fearless. One toe can lift, the other toe can lift. Where is your gaze? Look more forward than you think. It's like a seesaw. Your bum and your head are balancing out. So if you bring your eyes too far down, your energy will probably go down. So look forward, look forward. Give it another try. Yes, nice ladies. Breathe slow, good Emma, nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome Karina. That's it Marilee, try. Marilee, hold for two breaths up. Hold it for two breaths. <laughs> That's our deal. All right, big back down.
Come on, bring your feet together. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, Samasiti, close your eyes. And just feel, please bring a smile to your face. Be proud and just amazed. And yeah, just excited about the fact that we can do all these funny, funky, funky moves already. And that we're constantly learning, constantly discovering, overcoming fear, discovering our bodies, our minds, and our hearts. What a absolute gift to have our yoga practice. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, fold forward, soften the neck and the shoulders. Inhale, halfway, lift, lengthen. Right foot steps, knee down. Anjali Asana, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, eagle the right arm and the left. Thumb towards the third eye. Lift up, look up, breathe in. Low lunge, hands down, tuck the toes, breathe out. Step back, plank pose, feel the grounding to the feet in the hand. Shift forward, halfway, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward bow, beautiful. Exhale, hips lift, downward facing down. Three breaths, please know the child's pose is also available to you. If that's a few more, why would you not take a child's pose? This is your practice, your decisions, your life. Trust whatever your body or mind or heart is intuitively telling you to do. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway, lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, soften. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, eagle, right arm under the left, right leg over the left. Notice that the knees want to go to the left side, so draw them over a little to the right, bring them back into center. Use your eyes on a fixed point, the drishti. Keep smiling, keep breathing. Inhale, Utkatasana. Well done. Other side, left leg over, left arm under. You yeah, find a moment here to just find your shape and then commit to holding, breathing, staying calm, even though this is challenging. Breathe nice. Inhale, single leg to dust up. Lift your left knee up, reach the right arm up to the sky. Exhale, low flying warrior. Reach your left leg behind you, hands to heart center. Your drishti is now on the floor. Take another deep breath in here. Stay for the exhale. Crescent lunge, step back, arms up to the sky, breathe in. Hands to heart center, exhale. Hard lifts to thumbs, twist over to your right side. You can fly the arms open if that feels nice to you. You can also drop your left knee. Take another three rounds of breath here. Use your eyes to focus, to keep your balance. All right, take a deep breath in here. Skandasana to your left foot all the way. And bend your left knee, open the arms. If you can, open the arms and your left knee is touching your left shoulder. Flex the right foot. Take another deep breath in here. Low lunge to the top of the mat. Set yourself up for warrior two feet. Breathe in, bring the arms overhead. Exhale, warrior two. Lovely. Reverse warrior. Inhale, right arm up to the sky. Exhale, extended side angle, right arm down, left arm up. Inhale, reverse triangle, trikonasana. Exhale, wiggle the hands back down to the floor, low lunge, lift your back heel. Look forward, breathe in. Traditional pyramid pose. So pyramid pose in our vinyasa flows, we keep the left heel pointing backwards. A shanga, more traditional, we step the foot in, it's almost like your left foot is on a warrior one foot. So it turns a little out, and you can hold on to the hips and stand all the way up. 
You're trying to bring your left hip forward. So your left, your hips are parallel to the front of the mat. Lift the left arm up to the sky. And then reach it forward for a twisted trikonasana. Your left hand can be on a block on the inside. It can be on the foot or on the outside of the foot. Yeah, and if you want, you can start to reach your right arm up to the sky. This is a tricky pose. Focus your eyes. Three more rounds of breath. Look down towards the floor. Inhale, revolve half moon. Bring your left hand forward in front of your mat, probably. Reach your left leg behind you. Reach your right arm up to the sky. Hips are level to the floor. The twist is from the belly button up. Take another deep breath in. Maybe you can lift your fingers on the floor. Reach, reach, reach. Fold forward, feet together. Well done. Exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, Chaturanga, step jump, float or skip the full flow. Take your time. Inhale, upward facing down. Exhale, downward facing down. Three legs in downward facing down. Child's pose is available for you. This is your rest pose. This is your pose to reconnect, to feel what's going on to connect with your breath. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, soften the neck and shoulders. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, right ankle on top of your left for a figure four. Hold and breathe. Utkatasana, breathe in. Left ankle on top of the right thigh. Nice focus. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fly your chair. Hold and breathe. Let's stay here for 30 seconds. If you want a diver's pose, go ahead. Nice, focus, focus, focus. Heels down, arms up, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, single leg to Dasana with the right knee up in towards your chest. Take another deep breath in, low flying warrior. Nice and slow transition. Focus, focus, focus. Reach that right leg behind you. Squeeze the palms a little bit together. Roll in the chest, stay with the breath. Inhale, present lunge, soft landing, arms come up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Lift the heart towards the thumbs, twist over to your left side. Right elbow to the outside of the left side. Maybe fly your arms open, right fingers reaching down. Left fingers reaching up. Take a breath in together here. Skandasana over to your right leg. Open the arms to fly. Knee close to your armpits. Inhale, low lunge. Walk all the way back. Exhale, warrior two feet. Use your eyes for the alignment. Inhale, arms wing over. Exhale, sink into your warrior two. Reverse warrior, left arm up to the sky. Exhale, extended side angle, left arm down, right arm up. 
Inhale, reverse trikonasana, reverse triangle pose. Exhale, low lunge, wiggle your hands down. Set yourself up for a shorter, more traditional pyramid pose. So your left hip draws back while your right hip draws forward. Feel ground into the feet and then stand up. You might want to bend your left knee a little bit. I have overextension, so I need to make sure that I don't hang into the joint. Right arm up, reach forward, straight spine. Exhale, hand to block, to foot on top of the foot or maybe on the outside of the foot. And then open the left collarbone. You can even look up towards your left hand if you want to work with your eyes up, 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 up. Reach to the crown, ground through the feet. Look back down, take a breath in, launch to a revolved half moon. Right hand steps forward, right leg lifts. Your left arm can be up, 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 reaching up. Maybe you can feel one finger, two fingers, three fingers on the floor. Wobble, wobble, wobble. One more deep breath in, reach to the right leg. Fold forward, soften, woo, nice work. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, Chaturanga, step, jump, float. Inhale, upward, facing down. Exhale, downward, facing down. Now, another thing that is quite nice to realize is that in yoga, we are often upside down. In a sense that our head is lower than our heart, which gives us a total different perspective of life. Maybe while you're in down dog, look around. And look how your living room or your garden looks like upside down. What do you notice? Like really use your eyes. Use your eyes and see the door, the door handles, the floor touching the walls. Quite interesting. It is good for your physical body, but also for your eyes. Gives us a different perspective. Can you imagine if we were, would have been born walking on our hands instead of our feet? This is how our world would look like. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, let's flow with the breath. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, Utkatasana. Right knee in towards your chest, a balanced pose, tree pose. Now, we do tree pose regularly. It's quite a nice, accessible balanced pose. Ankle cup or above the knee. So the foot is either under the knee on the curb or above the knee, so the knee can stay nice and safe. If you want a different variation, just see if it is possible. You can hold onto the foot, create a little baby, like baby hold for the foot. And then you can bring, I'll show you a little closer, so it would look something like that. And this is not for everyone. From there, you can even bring your hand around the foot just see just be gentle on that knee nice 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 and then it's nice to place the hand in front of the heart it's a different tree pose variation Phew. different perspective oh we're almost oh nice 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 girls all right to bring this back safely because there is obviously some pressure here i like to again hold my foot like a baby first lift the knee and then step back down yeah so you enter the way you exit you exit the way you enter inhale utkatasana left knee in towards your chest exhale find your balance if you first went like okay i'm figuring it all still out do the same Find your balance and then maybe go for the baby. So reach the foot up, see where you can go. So for me, I like to place the heel almost here on top, um, close to, it's pressing almost into, into the lower intestines there. Yeah, you can hold on here, maybe wiggle, wiggle. Oh, this side is a lot tighter than the other side. So notice if it's accessible. For me, finally today, this feels better. 
That's my intuition telling me not to force it. That just as good, it does the same. Hold and breathe. Keep smiling. So to come out safely, you hold onto the foot, the knee comes up and back down. Yes, lovely. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half leg lift, leg lift. Step your left foot to a low lunge. Crescent lunge, inhale, arms up. Twist to the right side, exhale. If you want to try a side crow here, let me show you from the other side. A side crow here, your elbow hooks quite low. Not so much the stripes on my pants, so that's kind of where, where your arms will be. And then you can start to bring the weight forward. For some people, this is an easier way to get into side crow. Where are your eyes? Bring them to the left top corner of your mat. Look towards the left top corner of your mat. That will balance you out. Fabulous. Let's return to our twisted lunge and a breathe, deep breath in here. Skandasana all the way to your left leg. Exhale, you can open the arms. Low lunge, back to the top of the mat, breathe in. Set yourself up for warrior two, breathe out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, a little deeper in the right knee. Arm, right arm up, reverse warrior, breathe in. Extended side angle, right arm down, left arm up to hold. Different variations here. So as you can come into a half bind where the fingers find the inside of the thigh. Notice that your left shoulder is on top. Kind of from seeing from the ceiling, it's on top of the right. So you're trying to lift the heart, shining up towards the sky. From there, you may bring your right shoulder closer to the knee, bring the arm behind you, and then draw that left shoulder back again. Draw it back. Rather than hanging forward, draw it back, draw it back, draw it back, draw it back. Yeah, you can look down or up, up, up. Hold for another three rounds of breath. Half bind or full bind. Release your hands, reverse triangle. Lift the right arm up to the sky. Exhale, low lunge, lift your back heel. Step the left foot in and forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Traditional pyramid pose, nose to the shin, hold for three rounds of breath. Now notice, we pay attention to your third eye. And can you bring your third eye closer to your shin, closer to the knee? Hands can come to your hips, let them press into the feet, find length. And now draw that left hip forward again, as if there's a little rope attached to the front of your hip and somebody's pulling it forward while you're grounded through the left foot. Left arm up to the sky. Another revolve trikonasana. Now the fun thing might be to use your eyes. Look up towards the right thumb. Now close your right eye. And can you, with your left eye, see the thumb? Ooh! It makes the twist a little harder. Yes. Ay, 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 ay. The left eye is looking up. The right eye is closed. Bring your eyes back down towards the floor. Inhale, revolve half moon. Lift your left leg up, reach, reach. From here, we can go into a revolve dance if you'd like. You bend the left knee, the right hand finds the foot. Take your time, take your time. First, stand up, and I like to have the knees next to each other. Just find your balance here. I also change my hand. So the back hand, can I show that to you? Yeah, so now the foot, the hand is holding on to the big side of the foot. I bring it out to the out to the pinky side of the foot. As soon as I stand up, I just change the hand to the pinky side of the foot. Then reach up, kick up. So it's a dance pose. 
You're holding on to the other leg. Yay! Hold for five. Three. Two. One more fold, fold forward. Feet together. Exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Chaturanga and Dasana step, jump, float. Inhale, iron out the spine, nice and symmetrical. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. Last bit of flow, halfway lift, inhale. Right foot steps to low lunge, exhale. Inhale, crescent lunge, arms up, twist over to your left side, exhale. Stay or work into a side crawl. You can drop the right knee. There's so many different variations. Intuitively, what serves you? Often we know and we override it. Our ego goes, no, I want to stay here because it's cooler. No, I want to stay here because it's better. Who says what is better? You decide what serves you more. Follow your intuition. Be your own you. Yes. Try a side crawl if you want to, if you did so on the other side. Three more rounds of breath. Let's come back into our twist together. Breathe in. Skandasana to your right foot. Flex the left foot, maybe open the arms. Low lunge, bring the hands back to the top of the mat. Exhale, bring your two feet. Inhale, back on leads, come bring them over your head. Exhale, sink into your left knee. Inhale, reverse warrior, left arm up to the sky. Exhale, extended side angle, left arm down, right arm up. Hold, half bind, full bind. Now often when we come into a half bind or a full bind, we lose the integrity of the shape. So notice that you're open, that your heart is facing up. So can you almost copy that shape, even though you're in a bind? Yeah, so you're still drawing open that right collarbone. You can drop, nice. Nice, looking good. And those fingers, Emma, let them be active. Let them walk down. Let them crawl down like a spider. The one on the inside of your thigh. Yeah, yeah, and immediately you're twisting more. Exactly, exactly, very nice. Look down towards the floor, reverse. Trikonasana, left arm up towards the sky. Exhale, wiggle your hands down towards the floor. Step the foot in and a little bit out. I like the heel-heel alignment. So using my eyes, I can draw a line from my left heel along the mat, and it ends up in my right heel. Leg in the spine, draw the right hip a little forward and the left hip a little back. Full pyramid pose, soften your neck and shoulders. Localize your third eye and draw it closer to the shin, closer to the knee. With each breath, with your focus. Ground to the feet, hands to the hips, breathe in and find your balance. Draw that right hip a little forward. And then exhale, reach the arm up. Take another deep breath in, reach up, reach forward to twist. So you can also have your right hand on your shin. That is totally fine. We try to have a straight spine. If you want to try that funky eye variation, look up towards the left thumb. Close your left eye and look up with your right eye. Ooh, I always love this, it's kind of weird. Yes, it really makes you twist deeper. I can feel the heat already. Yeah, draw the left hip back, right hip forward. Let's look down, breathe in, revolve, half moon, breathe out. Two revolve dances. So bend the right knee, the hand can find the foot. It, I like to have it on the, on the pinky side but to stand up. Sometimes it helps to hold on to the inside of the foot. And then maybe open. The reason we're putting it on the outside, the pinky side of the foot, is that it opens your left armpit and shoulder. All right, first find the balance, find your drishti, and then start to expand. Start to expand and find the edge. Keep the foot in the hand for five, four, three, two, high mountain, arms up to the sky. Fold forward, dive forward, exhale. 
Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, bring your bum down towards the floor. Sit all the way down. Wonderful, wonderful. Feet, soles of the feet together. You can walk your bum a little. Find your sit bones. Bring the arms up and then fold forward. Exhale. Feel free to close your eyes. Maybe connect your mind back to your intention. Slowly roll up to a seat. I'm just going to ask you an honest question. Is, is shoulder stand something that serves you? If you have an injury in your neck, just, just do an easier variation. We're going to do a knee to third eye variation if you want. So from here, you roll back. You come into plow pose. From plow pose, you interlace your hands behind you. Hands can come to your ribcage. Shoulder stands. We look up only. So if you're not sure about what I'm saying, just leave it. Just leave it. Keep looking up. Now, if you want, you can bend the right knee and let the right knee come to your third eye. The right foot can even support your left leg. Hold here for four rounds of breath. Both legs back up, bring the feet a little bit more above your hips rather than the head. And then the left knee comes in between the eyebrows. The left toes can touch the right leg. Reach through the toes, take four rounds of breath here. Full shoulder stands, reach your toes up to the sky. In pressure pose, knees come next to your ears. Soften here, take two more rounds of breath. And slowly, 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 bring your body all the way to the floor. Feet down towards the floor, let the knees softly fall over to the left side. You can draw the right knee a little closer and bring your left hand on top of the right knee. Slowly bring your knees to center and over to the other side. Inhale, bring your knees back to center. If you have a watch or your phone that is playing the music for you, maybe set a timer for yourself for let's say four to five minutes. Our time together has come to an end. I'm going to leave you in Shavasana. Put some warm clothing on. Nice to have you back, Yolanda. We missed your beautiful smile. <laughs> Have a lovely day, Karina, Marali, and Emma. Thank you for being here. Enjoy your Shavasana. Enjoy it. Give yourself that time to just be, to let your body, the different layers of yourself, just integrate.
I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. Have a wonderful day. Use those eyes, those beautiful eyes of ours. Take a moment to see, to see the beauty around us. And if you see something that is beautiful, a bird, a lovely tree, pause, stop, take a couple of breaths. And also allow for you to see things from a different perspective. We will see the world in a different way, all of us. And that is the fascinating thing. It doesn't separate us, it unites us. From my very grateful heart to yours, namaste.